Hi guys, Lee Geddes here with the Market Sense for the week of July 25th, 2017. The charts that are included in this presentation are provided to us by Genesis from their Trade Navigator software. And we're looking at a weekly bond market chart here that has already surprised me this week. Uh, you see a couple weeks back we had this little inside week which last week took out to the upside and you know looked like that to continue a move like that will normally continue for you know roughly three to five bars so we were looking at 155.19 as the next target and not really resistance like they could go higher than that well they've simply turned down instead now turning down should have provided a really good buying opportunity in the 153 area here at the middle moving average and the projected low they seem to be going through that um, so there's an old adage that says a market not doing what it's supposed to do is often doing just the opposite uh, that means more than it sounds like this market should have been going up it apparently isn't but it not only apparently isn't it could be going down um, the problem we have here really is that the, we've got the Fed meeting Tuesday, Wednesday, and they'll either raise rates again or they won't, and they'll discuss it. And, uh, you know, who knows how the market's going to react to whatever comes out of the Fed. So that creates a really difficult problem here. But is, since they don't appear to be holding the 153 area, then we're targeting like 151. It's actually just below 151.28 down here is the next possible support. But I'd be real skeptical of that support because... They should be going up, and maybe they're not. Uh, stocks, uh, well, they are going up. They just grind their way to new highs, and they're so doggone quiet. There's an index known as the VIX, the Volatility Index, which some people call the Fear Index. Uh, it measures how active the market is, and it's flirting with a 24-year low in terms of market volatility. And yet here we are basically at new all-time highs. Uh, very unusual circumstance there. The support for this week is down around 2443 here at this middle moving average, and obviously they haven't come anywhere near that yet. Uh, we do have a target up here, 2481, but uh, it's against my religion to sell new all-time highs, so there's nothing I'd want to do with that except take profits if I was long. And uh, there's been absolutely no opportunity to get long here. Now, of course, this market has to worry about the Fed also. And they could have something to say or do, for that matter, that would spook them and get them to move someplace. But by and large, uh, as quiet as they are, they're still making new highs. And like I said, I absolutely refuse to sell a market making new all-time highs. So if they turn down, great. I'll look for a retracement to get them another week or two. But uh not much of anything I can do here except see what the Fed does to them Wednesday. So that's what we've got for you today. I hope you can find something profitable to get yourself involved.